Yeah. In this video, we are going to show you one of New York City's nicest hotel rooms. This hotel room costs $25,000 a night to rent. Well, we're gonna spend the next 24 hours in this hotel room, and since we don't have much time, we better get going. Listen, all you New Yorkers. We recently moved to the East Coast, and with everything that's been going on in our lives, we haven't taken advantage of our proximity to New York City. So today, we are about to change that. And we are gonna check out one of the most amazing hotel rooms in all of New York City, right here at the Intercontinental Barclay. I'll make a brand new start of it. This hotel room is, without question, one of the fanciest hotel rooms we have ever stayed in. I mean, it's even larger than most people's homes. So if we're gonna do this tour properly, we're gonna do it in style. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do it. I don't know if this robe fits properly. <laughs> this spectacular hotel room is 3,400 square feet in Manhattan. Think about that. 3,400 square feet is bigger than most people's homes, including our own, and we live in the burbs, guys. But think about it, 3,400 square feet in Manhattan, and I think the going rate for square footage in Manhattan is around $1,300 a square foot, so you do the math. But it all starts right here, with this grand foyer behind me, which is larger than most New York City apartments, guys. This place is massive, and this is just the beginning. The next spot is the Grand Atrium, which offers a choice of three different doors, right, left, and center. And all three of them have their own secret paradise waiting behind them. Welcome to the Grand Room. This has a family room with a giant big screen TV. A baby grand piano for entertaining all of your guests. A second sitting area. This one has a fireplace. A dinner table fit for royalty with a private kitchen. And no presidential suite would be complete without its own oval office. Well, this one has its own oval desk. That matters, right? <laughs> Behind door number two is the bedroom. Come on. So as you can see, this room is giant. One of the biggest bedrooms we've ever been in in a hotel. I would just say biggest bedroom we've ever been in. So when they call this the presidential suite, it is truly a presidential suite. Reason being is that there have been countless heads of state who have actually stayed here. So the reason being is that this hotel is so close to United Nations building. So people like Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and now Romero have all stayed here. Welcome to the bathroom. And while this is grand and opulent and ornate and very gold, there is one piece of this bathroom that sets it apart from the rest. And I have to show you right now. Come with me. Let's go into the bathroom together, shall we? Meet my new friend. Hello. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I mean, come on! It says hello. It is heated. <laughs> Bye. And behind door number three. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to our private gym. 
That's right, the final door is our favorite spot. It has an elliptical, a treadmill, a bench, some free weights, a mirror, and your own TV. But uh, that's enough about the gym. I need to finish this workout, so can you close the door, please? Thank you. Those presidents are so particular. <laughs>